So in our last video, we have seen you know how to initialize the tag, and you know we we wrote one task to check if the file present in particular location or not. All those things, right? Is good. But if you observe, we have did a small mistake, right? When we are initializing a dog, we haven't created an act. We did not do it in the right way, right? So when you are going with a with operator, we should always initialize in such a way as dag. You can give any name, right? This is the right way to initialize, right? And now if you go to the UI, you can see your workflow is here, right? You remember this workflow is not the name of your Python file. It is the name of name that you are given in the DAG ID. That is the reason I said that DAG ID should be unique across your workflows you deploy, and the task ID should be unique within your workflow. Okay. Now you can open this. Oh, yeah. Now I'm clicking on the DAG. Did you see? So currently we have a check file here, right? You can go in a graph view. You can also see our code here. Did you see this? Right. And you can, there's a way where you can trigger it. You can refresh it. Right. Now I'm just running. I mean, I'm enabling this uh, particular workflow. Right. By default, it is disabled. I just enabled it. Right. Now there is an option where you can run from here. If you click here, it will run. So before that, we have to define the workflow. Right. So what is the first step? We have multiple tasks here, almost five to six tasks. But we should define, we should tell the DAG what is the first step, which step should come first, which task should come first, and what is the second, third, right? So it's a very simple and straightforward, right? You just need to say check file. So currently we have only one task. In case if we have multiple tasks, you know, you can say task two, task three, anyways that we are going to see it, right? So currently we have only one task, right? So now, yeah. Let me run this. It is running. It ran. It must let me refresh this. It is actually success. You have three status here success, running, and failed. Now let me open this. Check file, view log. A task is non state. Okay. What is the reason it is non state? this yeah again a silly mistake if you see here we are given the future date right today date is actually third when i'm recording this video but i have given seven by mistake let me make it three did we save it yes we saved it now if you see here it immediately updated here because as i said right your local folder is mounted with Right, this particular folder, wherever we are saying is mounted in the Linux system. So, whatever the changes you do here, it will it will immediately affect in our Linux system. Let me see if we can run it. Yeah, there are few tasks which are already running. Right, we logs. Why is it so? Input files. We have a file here. Okay. Yeah, it is actually success. Strange, I don't know why it's so many things are running. We'll can anyways check that later. Currently view logs, right? Did you see? This is an output, which is actually success, right? So this is a shasham, right? It will tell you like, you know, some details about the file. If there's no file, then it there will be some error. To replicate that, let me give some other name here one two three because we are looking for or file now technically speaking that particular file is not available let me run this manual check file you need to click on your task and view log oops sorry my bad i yeah view log did you see this it started attempting one of three Right. Technically speaking, right. If, if you see here, we say retries true, but you see three. Why? Because it will go to the retries 
only after if it check for the first time right in case in the first time we don't find the file then only it go for the two retries which is this time three times right so it not find let me refresh to see the fresh log did you see this all retries filed right so it will move to the next step only if it find the file or else it won't right so yeah i'll show you you can click on this particular id did you see now the color is i don't know what this color maybe it's an uh, yellow color yeah you, you, you can see there are different states here right success running fail skip upstream failed right and upstream for schedule we'll just run this this is actually currently queued why it is queued right queued means actually you know it is waiting for the next step obviously right so <clears throat> we are retrying it so it will be queued for the 15 seconds after that it will be again right did you see up for retry did you see the color right again it went for the queued state did you see why it is trying the last time maybe now did you see it got failed you can check the logs yeah because all retry got failed so okay so the next step is creating the data preprocess better you know, i'll make a separate video for this just to avoid the confusion right so hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you